सो आवर क्वेश्चन इज डिराइव द फॉर्मूला और इक्वेशन टू कैलकुलेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कोएफिशियंट व्हेन द सॉल्यूट इज डिसोसिएटेड इन वन फेल सो फर्स्ट लेट अस नो द मीनिंग ऑफ डिसोसिएट द वर्ड डिसोसिएट स्टैंड्स फॉर स्टेट ऑफ सेपरेशन और डिसयूनियन दैट इज व्हेन अ सॉल्यूट एट कांस्टेंट टेंपरेचर इज एडेड टू टू इमिसिबल लिक्विड और सॉल्वेंट व्हिच आर इन कांटेक्ट विद ईच अदर द सॉल्यूट गेट्स distributed between them or between the two solvent with different equilibrium concentration so if the solute remains unchanged in one of the solvent and goes under dissociation in another solvent then the total concentration of the two solute will not be constant but instead in such cases the ratio of the concentration of the undissociated molecule in the two solvent would be equal now let us go for the derivation of this formula suppose this is a container containing two immiscible solvent solvent a solvent b consider a solute solute x which is dissolved in solvent a without any change and dissociates in solvent b to species y and z x is the solvent these two immiscible liquid are in contact with each other x is this dissociation in the solvent b giving species y and z so the total concentration of the x in the solvent b changes that is cb 1 minus alpha plus c alpha is c alpha alpha degree of dissociation let c a c a be the total concentration of the solute solute in solvent a cb total concentration of the solute in solvent b then the equilibrium concentration can be equilibrium concentration of the species in solvent b can be given as y x is giving y plus z x c b 1 minus alpha c b alpha c b alpha
in such case the ratio of the concentration of the undissociated molecule species into solvent would be constant. That is Ca by Cb 1 minus alpha is equal to constant. Let us divide it next. So here, this is a container containing two immiscible solvents, solvent A and solvent B. Here, X is the solute which is getting dissolved in these two solvents. X goes and X remains unchanged in solvent A, but goes under dissociation in solvent B, giving two species Y and Z. So the concentration of sol uh, solvent A is given by CA. CA is the total. So concentration of the solute in solvent A and CB is the total concentration of the solute in solvent B. Alpha is the degree of dissociation. So here X can be written as CB 1 minus alpha that is total minus degree of dissociation giving species CB alpha and CB alpha. So as a result the equation that is formed is x give and take y plus z species given cb1 minus alpha to cb alpha and cb alpha. In such cases, the ratio of the concentration of the undissociated species in the two solvent would be constant that is ca by cb1 minus alpha is equal to constant. Thank you.